Welcome back to Ferris Sports Update. More Bulldog hockey coverage and with us, junior forward Justin Buzio. And Justin, first of all, welcome to the show and congratulations on the success the Bulldogs have had this year. Thank you. My pleasure to be here. Uh, you're a third-year player here in the Bulldog program. Uh, just, just talk about what the season's meant for you uh, in terms of what the Bulldogs have been able to accomplish with, with I know, some more goals still out there. Oh, yeah, it's been uh, quite a successful one so far. And, I mean, there still is a lot of work to be done. And, like, we have a mature group, and we know that what's out there and uh, what, what else we have to do. So, But as the season's been going so far, I mean, everyone has been contributing. We have freshmen scoring, sophomores, juniors, seniors. So the team's really gelling well together, and I think we have a good thing going right now. How special has it been uh, for you as a, as a junior uh, with uh, five seniors in front of you to, to be able to have a big season and, and win a lot of games for, for those seniors? Yeah, it's huge. You always want to win as many games as possible, and uh, especially for the seniors, to for them to have their last game at home and for it to be like that. Uh, I, I don't think that you could ask for anything better than that. And at the same time, winning a lot of games, it does help for the future. Like every from the freshmen to the juniors to the sophomores, we all learn from them. So uh, it's really big, and we have a really good group of seniors that have done that for us this year. I know uh, you've really emerged as one of the one of the top scorers on the team this season in terms of your your totals. Uh, what's that development been like uh, going back to your freshman year to your sophomore year to where you are now? Yeah, I mean, freshman year I kind of got hurt there, so it, it put me back a bit. But uh, this year I've I've gelled well with my line mates, and I think I have to credit it mostly to them. Uh, without them, I wouldn't have as many points and goals as I do. So. And at the same time, I think it's the whole team. If the whole team wasn't playing good, uh, nothing would develop and we wouldn't be scoring as many goals. So uh, you just got to contribute to your teammates and for your success. I know we uh, talked with Coach Daniels a little bit earlier, uh, a couple weeks ago, winning the WCHA regular season championship. And we've got uh, that final call here uh, that we'll hear and uh, certainly uh, uh, a great uh, victory for the Bulldogs. Oh, yeah. It's always nice to win championships. I mean, I, I mean, words can't even explain how, how happy we are to win that. But uh, like you said before, there's still more work to be done, and we want we want to win the one in Van Andel and then go on to hopefully win the national championship. For the second time in three years, the Ferris State Bulldogs will call themselves conference champions. What did that feel like uh, for you being a, being a junior here and uh, winning that conference championship, knowing that that was something the Bulldogs had done a couple years ago as well? Oh, it was huge, especially to be a bigger part of it. I mean. Freshman year, I didn't contribute as much as I did this year, and uh, I felt like a little bit more of a benefit this year to, to really help the team out and, and win that championship. It, we fought hard all season, and from right from the get-go, we were we were number one. So uh, there was we were always seeing every team's best shot, which which I think will help us in the long run. Every team always wanted to play their best against us, and and we were number one. So. You know, I mean, you're playing the best team, so you're going to be playing your best. I know uh, it was great to win it, not only uh, for the team, but in front of the home fans uh, on home ice. 16-1-1, uh, one and one, unbeaten against WCHA teams here at home this year. Talk about that fan support. Oh, the fan support is huge. I mean, I don't think there's another rink as loud as ours in all of the WCHA out of actually all the rinks that I've played in since being in college. Our fans are tremendous, and they uh, they lift us to an element that uh, no, other, no other arena has. I know uh, after winning the WCHA, uh, as we talked with Coach, uh, not a lot of time uh, to, to really celebrate it, uh, kind of refocused your goals uh, going into the postseason as the number one seed. Uh, what was the emphasis going into that series against Bemidji State? Oh, we knew that they were a good team. Uh, we played them before, and actually the last time we played them, they beat us. So so we knew it was going to be a battle. And, I mean, the first game wasn't was in an 8 nothing game. Uh, it could have been a lot closer than it was. Modder made some good saves, and we score, we capitalized on a lot of our chances. Uh, Saturday night, they uh, they played a lot better, and uh, their goalie made some some big saves, and their backs were against the line. It was if they lost, they were, their season was done. So we knew that they were going to be playing their best, and we had to be playing our best. We talked about uh, being the longest game ever played inside the Ava Glavin Ice Arena in terms of total ice time. Uh, what's that like as a player to, to play that long of a game? Oh, I mean, it's it's tough, but you you enjoy that going to overtime. You're always growing up. You're always playing road hockey. You're saying that it's overtime, double overtime. Who's going to score the winning goal? So it's it's fun at the same time as it is nerve wracking. But we came up with the W, and that's always nice. You're down two to one, and uh, final minute, uh, you pull the goalie and uh, you get the extra skater and get the goal with with 45 seconds left to play. Uh, a huge goal. Uh, uh, just talk about what that felt like. Oh, I mean, it was huge. A huge relief. Uh, I still don't know really who scored the goal, but uh, as you saw in the video, they all kind of just 
went to the middle of the ice. I don't think they they scored, but on the bench we felt a lift, and especially in the in the room after uh, that third period was done, we felt like like we were going to win the game, and uh, everyone was was really ready to go in overtime. 20 minutes of scoreless overtime in the first overtime. Uh, you go to the second overtime, and we've got a clip of the game winner here uh, from Scott Zarnowsen, uh, a big goal to lift the Bulldogs into the WCHA Final Five. All right. White fires, goes high and wide. Up to Zarnowsen at the point. Keep in mind, Bulldogs are shorthanded here. Control by, he scores! Put a bow on it and drop the present! Maris State is going to Van Andor Arena in Grand Rapids, Michigan. A short-handed goal before this crowd in Big Rapids. Dominic Hennig uh, with the call on the Bulldog Sports Network and uh, just talk about uh, that, that feeling uh, after that game winner, a uh, chance to go out on the ice and, and certainly knowing uh, that you're going on to bigger and better things at Van Andel Arena. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if I've ever jumped so high uh, after scoring a goal. I was in the box there. I was kind of nervous for a bit uh, after that penalty. So I just said, as long as we could get through this, this PK, uh, I promise I'll, I'll make it up and I'll score a goal. But they took care of it before I even needed to get back out there. So it's... Words can't even describe it. Uh, it's it's a huge thing that Ferris hasn't been able to do in the past couple of years is to move on to the to the to what would be the Joe and the CCHA, and now it's in Grand Rapids for the WCHA. So it's a really big accomplishment. But uh, yet again, we still have have more work to do in in Grand Rapids. I know you're looking forward uh, to the trip to Grand Rapids. What will it be like playing in front of all those Bulldog fans uh, down at Van Andel Arena? Yeah, it's going to be nice. I mean, being only a 45 minutes an hour away, I. We feel that we're gonna have a good, uh, good crowd there. That's gonna help us, especially with, uh, I mean, with our how our crowds have been. Uh, we expect there to be a lot of a lot of student support as well as well as family support there. And expecting to receive on Sunday uh, another bid to the NCAA tournament, second time in three years. Uh, as you look back to two years ago, uh, uh, when the Bulldogs went to the Frozen Four, uh, what, what's uh, kind of the focus, I guess, going on uh, here into the postseason this year? Yeah, I mean, uh, we can't really worry about that too much. We. We still have other work that we want to like. We want to win another trophy and on uh, on Saturday, but first we have to go get go through Friday, then Saturday, and then we'll worry about Sunday when it comes. But uh, going back to when we did go to the Frozen Four, it was a memorable season, and I mean, going back there, I would love to go back there again and uh, and really make a difference. Well, best of luck to the Bulldogs this weekend uh, down in Van Andel Arena for the WCHA championship, and then hopefully into the NCAA tournament next week. Thank you very much. We'll be back with more Ferris Sports Update right after this.